Hey, it's Chris. Peloton added a new metric to the Peloton bike and tread, the Strive Score. How's it work and should you be paying attention to it? Let's find out in today's video. As part of the Peloton Homecoming 2021 keynote, the CEO of One Peloton announced a new non-competitive metric for the bike and tread, the Strive Score. It's calculated using a compatible heart rate monitor based on what heart rate zone you are working out in. The heart rate zones are based on CDC guidance and are automatically calculated for you when you enter your age into profile settings of the bike or tread. If you're curious how it's calculated, it's 220 minus your age. So a 40 year old like me has a max heart rate of 180. When it comes to Peloton heart rate zones, zone one is up to 65% of your max heart rate. Zone two is 65 to 70. So my zone two starts at 117. You get the idea how they calculate. Zone three is 75 to 85%. Zone four is 85 to 95. And zone five is 95 and to that max 100%. Each zone gives you a fraction of a point for each second you work out in. Zone two will give you two times as much as zone one. And zone three, four times. Zone four, eight. You'll notice zone five is the same as zone four because it's not healthy to work out too long at such a crazy high heart rate. And I'm sure Peloton doesn't want anyone dying and trying to get the highest drive score they possibly can. Well, I use the drive score in two ways. The first is not even using the numbers, just the round color portion of the score. As you work out the Strive score, circle changes based on how much of your workout is in a particular zone. So it starts out in light blue, but as you move to zone two or higher, then part of the circle would change representing how much of the workout has been in that zone. I like to spend most of my workouts in zone two and three, so it's easy to glance down and see how much green and yellow is on the Strive score. It's a great way to gauge how much effort you've exerted during a cardio workout. The other useful thing about a Strive Score is it allows you to see how much total effort with that actual Strive Score number. The human body adapts as you continue to work out and you get in better and better shape. So you can get the same total output of kilojoules, you know, that number that is used to rank you on your leaderboard at the end of a workout, but not work out as hard because you're in better shape now than you previously were weeks or months ago. The Strive Score is a great way to gauge how hard you worked out with an actual number and see if you're taking it too easy or too hard and, you know, kind of get prepared for your next workout and know maybe you need to work a little harder because your last workout wasn't your normal Strive Score. With the Strive Score, you can now have a way to see how hard you're working out across many different workout types. You can compare zones whether you're running, cycling, or doing floor workouts. One issue though is the weight training effort, which isn't normally influenced by your heart rate that much unless you're doing some type of circuit training. The way Strive Scores are implemented now make them great for cardio workouts, but provide little feedback for strength training. This could all change if Peloton releases the rumored Peloton strap, Strive Strap maybe, it's a good name, or some type of wearable watch or something like that. By providing off the bike and tread workout tracking along with sleep tracking and it all being connected somehow, to the Peloton ecosystem. And then you have a wearable that's different than anything else on the market and something a lot of Peloton users like me would really be interested in. So that's the Strive Score, Peloton's new metric and way to track how hard you're working out during your Peloton workouts. So you've heard how I use it and what I think. What do you think about the Strive Score? Let me know down in the comments below. If you got something useful out of this video, go ahead and hit me up with a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more Peloton and workout tech videos like this, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.